Dream King Films. We're here with Coach Travis McCall, Coaches Against Violence, Scott Paul. Coach, talk to me about it real quick. Man, um, man, Coach Against Violence, I, I couldn't ask for more, man. Huge success. You know, my main goal was first to just, just assemble a group of coaches from all different walks of life, you know, no matter what side of town. You know, all of us get together for one mission. That's for the kids, you know. And so if the kids can see all of us getting together from different places, you know what I mean? Maybe it'll, it, it, it'll, it'll, it'll trickle down to them because they from different walks of life. And we just want to set a tone, man. Like, no matter where you playing ball at, no matter what school or neighborhood you go into, man, y'all start policing each other and take care of each other, man. You see somebody in the street doing something stupid or some senseless type of crime or violence, man, pull them away, man, because at the end of the day, man, it's about leadership, man. It's about responsibility. And it's about integrity and holding each other down, man, and in the community. So we're just trying to create a bridge in the community to be a bridge through all the crazy stuff, you know, for these kids to keep their mind occupied and keep them doing stuff, you know what I'm saying? So we just want to spread that message and just let them know we love them and love on them and love on them and let them know, man, they ain't got to be out here with one foot in and one foot out the door, man. Yes, sir, Coach. Talk about the support you had. ton of coaches out here, a lot of outstanding people in the community came out to show their support, like former Mel Jacksonville, man, Alvin Brown. Man, just talk to them about it real quick. Man, Mel, Alvin Brown, if you're watching, man, I appreciate you, man. I appreciate you. Just, just, just your blessing, just your presence in the building, man. It just let me know that we moving in the right direction, that it, it, it touched the right people that it needed to touch. You know, the coaches, man. I can't. I, I just can't say enough about the coaches, man. They, them, them guys put down like it was everything I expected. Probably a little more. The rain don't stop nothing, man. The people in the community, like they just embracing the movement. You know what I'm saying? This is a movement. We it's stripped in numbers. You know what I'm saying? As long as we keep that movement going and, and we join together, band tight like a gorilla fist, man. Ain't nothing can stop it, man. Yes, sir, coach. A lot of people love to say negative things about this community, but you shining a positive light. How important that is, coach? Man, it's important, man, because if you're saying negative stuff and you're talking about the problem and you're pointing the finger, you're just a part of the problem. It's about progression. I'm a person of progression. The guys around me, they people of progression about moving forward, man, getting the ball rolling, trying to solve the problem, man. So the negativity stuff, that's going to happen. They talked about God. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. But at the end of the day, man, we got to keep going and keep going and deliver our message, man. And our goal is not just to reach here. We want to sew up our bike yard first. But it's other stuff going on out there across the country, man. We trying to aim at a, at a Coaches Against Violence month. Like they got Breast Cancer Month, Salute the Service. We want a Coaches Against Violence month where we drape everybody in red, man. Stop the bloodshed. You know, that's what we're about. We ain't worried about the negativity. That's going to come. Because if you're doing something right, the devil's going to bother you. Yes, sir. Coach, over 150 kids showed up today. Talk about getting those kids out here and how much work they put into it on my head of day, Coach. Man, you got to applaud the kids, man, because they work their butt off. They work, you know, 150 kids, man. Probably could have been more rain, but 150 kids, man, like, that speaks for itself. You know, that means we, we touch somebody, you know what I'm saying? And a moochie too, maybe, and they can go and leave and say, hey, man, we had a good time, coach, get violence, we work, man. You know, but the most of all important thing was delivering that message. You know, football is just a, just a little part. It's a, it's, a, it's a privilege, you know what I mean? It's an extracurricular activity, you know what I mean? You can't do that unless you got your logistics together. So it was more about putting that message together. Life after football, life outside of football. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. Coach, talk about some of your top performers today. Uh, you had you passed out a lot of awards to at least, I think, seven, eight kids. Yeah, seven, talk eight about kids, some man. of your top performers man, today, some Coach. Of, man, some of those guys, man, like 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 that, that dude in the sixth grade, man, um, Gunner, man, like, um, can't wait from Brunswick. Like, man, dude, man, like, he was sharp. You know, a lot of the guys were sharp, man. Uh, uh, I don't really like to single out nobody, you know what I'm saying? Well, hold on, I'm going to single out one. Amp Green, one of the top defensive backs on the day. Give me a little oh, bit of something on Amp, man, Coach. Man, man, that guy feisty, man. He got fight. He feisty, and, and, and he got a lot of swag, man. He like, to play on that island, you got to have a lot of swag. You got to have a lot of confidence. You got short memory, man. That man get out there, and he got after the man, and he compete, man. Hey, Amp Green, man, hey, keep that up, man. It's a long way for you. going to go a long way if you keep grinding, man. Yes, sir, Coach. You had diversity out here. You had older kids, younger kids, multiracial kids out here. Just talk about how important that was to have that diversity, Coach. And, and, and that's what it's about, man. We want to we wanna expand and broaden our horizons. We want to give people stuff from different angles. It ain't about just our skin color and all that. Because at the end of the day, we share the same earth. We on here for the same purpose, man. And we do a lot of the same things, man. And to see people coming together from different races and different walks of life, man, that was great, man. You know what I mean? That's that's what the goal is. We're not just trying to separate or, or segregate. We're trying to get off of that, man. We're trying to get a, 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 a thing about unity. And I spoke at the beginning when I spoke to the kids. It's belief, it's unity. And once we unify, we got to have that commitment to stay unified. 
commitment to stay on the right track and all that, man, gonna equal success, man. Coach, how important it was to have people come out and share their real life stories. You had a mom who lost her son to a, a, a terrible uh, act. Right. Uh, Coach Stewart came out and shared his uh, thoughts. How important was that, Coach? It was, it, was, it, was, it was important because, you know, we wanted to get the kids from multiple angles. You know what I'm saying? From somebody who actually went through the situation. You know what I'm saying? For somebody who actually made mistakes in life and for people who actually went somewhere, you know what I'm saying, positive and spiritually, so they can get it from all points and they, it can hit them in the head directly. At, at, at least something, one of them speeches might wake them up. You know what I mean? And that's what we want to do. We, we just want to do something to drive, drive it home, man. And it was real important to get people from different angles to hear it instead of just from an athletic standpoint. You can get it from a community standpoint. You can get it from a, from, from, from a guy who's failed this in life. You know what I'm saying? Right in his wrong standpoint. You can get it from a guy that actually has success. You know what I'm saying? So that's what it was about, man. And I appreciate those guys. that Shout out to Eddie Stewart, uh, Coach Jermaine Thomas, um, Mr. Tamisha Williams, uh, 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 who are Rodney Blunt, man. Just, man, shout out to all, man, everybody, man. I appreciate you too, man. Yes, sir, Coach. Staying along those lines right there. Um, most people host camps. It's just all about sports, but it's all about education into it, life skills, and, and, a, and a lot of other things. Coach, how, how important it was to have a well-rounded camp? It ties in. You can't play football if you ain't got no grades. Uh, 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 if, if you ain't getting no grades, nine times out of ten, you out here joking around in the streets or you got something going on. So it ties in together, man. Football is just a small part. It's about life. And I, and I always tell people when I sign up to coach football, I ain't coaching football. I'm a life coach. I'm a mentor. You know, I'm, I'm a stepfather. I'm a father. I'm a role model. I'm a big brother. You know, it's all the above. You can't just come out here and blow a whistle when it's time. You know what I'm saying? That's the small part. Just like I said, if you ain't got your logistics together, you can't even step on the field. And it's just about education, about uplifting, because the actuality that all the 150 kids out there, maybe five might have a legitimate chance to go to the pros. And that's just that. Only way we can defeat the odds is doing stuff that we're doing like this now, to keep these kids occupied. And I just hope that it be a germ and it, it just spread out. You know what I'm saying? Not just with us, but it just spread out around the community, man, around town, man, because we're losing a lot of kids, man. And a lot of those kids, and a lot of these kids that was out here, all these coaches put their hands on them some type of way. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. So with, with those movements and those different people coming from multitudes because they know this coach and know that coach and know that coach, next time we do an event, it might be get even bigger. You know what I'm saying? Yes, That's sir. what it was about. Coach, uh, Coaches Against Violence, going from a local to a national movement, K. Michelle Rick Ross spoke on it. How important it was to get uh, those two national recording artists uh, behind this movement, Coach? Man, um, just j to get to get somebody with a, with, a, with, a, with, a, with a higher platform, let's say that, with a higher platform where we had to actually speak up on that, man, it kind of touched me, you know what I mean? And, and it lets me know that we reaching, like it's coming. And it wasn't just supposed to be a local thing, it's supposed to be a nationwide thing. You know what I'm saying? And to get somebody on the, on the, on the upper level, a platform where somebody looked at it, you know, total, total celebrity, to do that type of stuff, man, it actually meant a lot, you know? And that lets me know that people actually embracing this, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and it's traveling, you know what I'm saying? It's traveling, and we just keep, continue to just keep traveling, keep traveling, and we challenge everybody that's in the lives of kids. In the lives of coaches, we have that logo, that shield. We gotta stand behind that shield, it's a form of protection. We change everybody. Their Facebook, their, their profile pictures, if you see that shield, if you see anything coach against violence, like it, share it, like it, share it again. We want this to be a trending topic, man, because it's a lot of people, we lose millions of kids a year over sexual acts of violence, you know? Yes, sir, coach. You put a lot of hard work into this day, but you couldn't have did it alone. Talk to me about the help and the sponsors that you got, coach. Man, the help, man. These guys, man, Corey Brown, Mike Holloway, Warren Jones, Terrell Dallas, uh, Coach Dorsey, Silas Daniels, DeWan Green, Marisa, Jerry Neesmith, man, the list goes on, man. And the sponsors we have behind us, man, like, they they, they automatically embrace the uh, movement. There's so many, man, I, I don't want to say no and forget no name, but y'all know who y'all y'all. What's understood ain't got to be explained. None of this is impossible without y'all. I'm just a pawn on the chessboard, you know, to make this thing come in fruition, man. Without these people around us, man, none of this is possible, man. I just want to thank even that each and every last one of y'all. Y'all know who y'all are, man. And I just thank God, man. I, I, I can't give him enough praise, man. I declare it and I declare it, man. Yes, sir, Coach. Anything you want to say to the kids that, uh, for one reason or another, that couldn't make it out here today, Coach? Man, to the kids that couldn't make it, man, I encourage y'all, man, to get involved in something. It's not necessarily about sports. You know? Get involved in something. Watch your whereabouts. Every handshake ain't a handshake for you. Every smile ain't a smile for you. Ain't every green ain't a green for you. Get out, man, and put yourself around somebody in the same move in you. I was once told that if you in a room full of four with four millionaires, you liable to be the fifth one. You are a product of, 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 of the company that you keep, man. 
Watch the people that surround you, man. Police each other, man. Pull your homeboy out of that situation. Now, don't put yourself in those situations where you got your bike against the wall. Now you're forced to do something stupid, man. You know, we, we it's about moving forward, man. Get yourself out here and just get involved in something. It's not got to be sports, man. Get involved in something. Stay out to school long. Get your studies on. Get your after school job. Something. Do something, man, because if you got too much time on your hand, man, it's going to lead to, it's gonna lead to something, an uh, uh, empty mind and, and, and wondering thoughts, man. It leads to you out here doing something stupid, you know what I mean? So we just encourage those kids that ain't come out, man. Next time we have an event, come out. If you don't come out, man, but we just encourage y'all, man. Get involved in something, man. Love one another, man. Embrace this, embrace this thing, man. Be a unit, man. That's all I got to say. Yes, sir. Coach, last question. You got to talk about the team moms. You got Shamar right here, Tasha, Tanya. They, they made sure the kids was hydrated, fed them, did everything man. they needed to do. Coach, talk about the team moms. Man, them ladies, man, them ladies great, man. All salute. Like, they really had a real, real big hand in this, even before out here behind the scenes play, man. Like, I got it, man. All praises go to my team moms, man. Them ladies, and, and that's crew. For, for, that's crew from now on. Even when this thing get ready to hit the road, that's cool, man. Them team moms, they excellent, man. We, hey, they got wet. We ain't got no money for no front laces, no fingernails. <laughs> they some real team moms. They came out here and got they it down, man. They got it down. They got wet with us, man. Tanya ain't had no makeup on today or nothing. That take a lot for her to do that. Uh, even Star came out here. Star, but Star wanted to come out here because she got some new. Yeah, she got, them yeah, she got her new Galasha boots on. She got so them yeah, that's why she came out here, man. Star came out here, hey, but, but we love them team moms, man. Mom, man. They put the it together, mom, man. They put it together, they man. We gonna do something special. For them real soon too, man. But I appreciate that, man. Shout out to everybody, man, that embraced that movement. For Coach real, against violence, man. Spread the word, man. Like it, share it, like it again, retweet it, share everybody, it, man. Uh, everybody, man. City streets, man. City streets, the athletes, man. Bite the bass, man. Bite the bass, bigger. G5 record, record breakers. Bird sports, man. Uh, Coach Sean from all Coach Sean, all the way from Brunswick, man. You know what I'm saying? Way from Brunswick. I go to show. We making strides and moving, man. A1, A1, A1 performance, man. It's a lot. Shout out to my brother right here, man. Coach Dave, man. That's my brother, way from Atlanta, man. Peace Tree Elite, man. You he know even came, to... Coach Armstead came Coach out here and put it, Coach Armstead, in with the camera, whatever. Yeah. Hey man, we just hey man, spread the word, man. Coaches against violence, man. We gotta save our kids, man. I use the term, man. It's time to buy back the block, man. Buy back the community, our kids from these streets, man. We gotta yeah. hey, we gotta get back to that village, man. And we got a slogan. It's called respect the shield, respect too, the shield, man. Respect baby. the shield, man. Respect the shield. Yes, sir. Man. Hey, hey guys, thanks for talking with me, and good luck to y'all future, man. Coaches yes, against violence, man. It, man. Yes, sir. Appreciate